Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah! It's Brews Day Tuesday time with Drez and Huck. Mm. I, miss, I miss misfire. Ah, the old can pop. Yeah, can't summertime. go wrong. Can't go wrong with that one. It is Brews Day Tuesday, and as Mr. Matt Anthony, our voice guy, just said, I am Drez, and I'm lucky to be joined. By Huck from Huck's Beer Buzz in studio. Huck, how are you this Tuesday? Oh, so wonderful. I can't stand myself. Oh, that's glad to hear. Glad to hear it. Mm. So, um, and I'm better now as I'm sipping a beer. Yeah, we need a beer, man. This studio, geez, Louise. Uh, I don't want a cold one all day. So I'm glad that we're finally doing it. And you got a dark looking one. Like. Yeah, this one's dark. Oh, son of a bitch! I knew that was a bad idea. Put on the mic, did you? Yeah, a little bit. I'm not. I would lick it off, but this mic is just disgusting. <laughs> Anywho, uh, we're going. Uh, we're doing an old school kind of a thing today. Uh, uh, old school, he means that Huck was completely unprepared, so he just grabbed some beer off the shelf at a couple of beer stores. Yeah, that's exactly how we started this show. We're getting back to our roots. That's right. And uh, you gave me, like you said, a dark boy. This is the Evil Twin Brewings, even more Cocoa Jesus. It's an imperial stout with maple syrup and cocoa nut added. So. I'm assuming, you know, with Jesus and the chocolate theme, this is the same guys that do the Sweet Baby Jesus, yeah. the peanut butter beer. Yeah. Um, a lot of people love that beer. I was not a huge fan. I guess I should have known better than to buy a six-pack of a beer I had never tried, especially one that's a porter or whatever the hell that is. So, um, But, well, you know, I always like to try new things, and that's what I'm going to be doing right now. There you go. So, uh, And I've got a... a um... <sighs> Champion Brewing Melee Session Indian Pale Ale, India Pale Ale. Good old champion. Yeah, and I said, uh, it's got like a game. Must be Melee, must be a video game. Melee, I mean, It's well, got like a score on here. I know that, uh, I always think of, um, let me look at that can. I always think of, yeah, I always think of, uh, damn, what is it, um. I'm, I, it's not called Melee, but like Su- Super Smash Brothers, it's like a Melee video game. Well, maybe that's it. I don't know if it's... it's got, yeah, with damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's probably what it's, it's got. definitely a video so. game on it. Yeah, you can see it's got the like the little cubes, the pixels kind of a thing going for it. So that's cool. Yeah, we Cha- And Champion, they're uh, they're Virginia-based, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're out of uh, Charlottesville? I do believe. I do believe. I'm going to be heading to Charlottesville here before too long. Well, that's what I said. I said to the guy, he says, you have a Champion beer, and I, the beer store guy, and he goes, I said, I don't know, I'm not a real big fan of their beer. And he goes, you should try this one. So here we are. I'm trying this one. There you go. Hope I'm a big, hope I'm a big fan. Yeah, the uh, last time I went to Charlottesville and hit a couple breweries, um, it was a couple of years ago, and I'm going to be doing something similar. And the, not the main part of the trip, but one of the things that happened on that trip was I cut my hair, and that's uh that's what's going to be happening this time again, man. I set up the appointment; it's official. There you go. Uh, locks, August love locks for love. Kit wigs for kids. Oh. I've heard not so so much good things about locks of love, so I uh, oh no, that's fine. So I switched to wigs for kids, which sounds I mean it's for kids, so that's better. But also. Um, but the harder part though is locks of love that they take eight inches. Like I've done them in the past. They take eight inches. Um, but, uh, weeks for kids that you need 12. So oh. it takes me a solid two years plus to, uh, grow it out long enough to donate. So, but like, I think, I think it's finally there. So we're going to do it here next month. They have like wigs for really old dudes. No. Yeah. Cause then they could take my hair. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> You can, I, I'm, I'm sure there's, you know, the gray is kind of in these days. Yeah, I guess, I guess. <laughs> if you want to donate. People are doing it. I don't know. Mm. But Evil Twin, so yeah, champion in Charlottesville. Evil Twin, yeah, was, where are they from? Do you remember? No, uh, I think he's like a... It um, says Brooklyn, New York. Oh, distributed by yeah, Stanford, yeah. Connecticut. But he's kind of, they're kind of, I thought they were there? like a gypsy brewer. Well, it says right here. I know, Stanford. But that Brewed might be by Evil Twin Brewing, Stanford, Connecticut. Right. Maybe they're... Uh, Maybe they found a home. Yeah, I don't know. You ever? So you've never been to Stanford, Connecticut, I'm assuming. I've been to Connecticut, but I don't think Stanford. And, well, Evil Twin more specifically. No, I have not been there. I've had a lot of their beers. <laughs> yeah, they make some damn good beers. I'm, um, 
I'm actually kind of liking this one. I don't know if it's because it's uh, it's actually good or just that it's so damn hot that I just really, really, really wanted a beer. Well, and it's been a long day, so it might be a little combination of all of the above. Since Evil Twin Brewing is a gypsy brewing originating in Denmark, hmm. so I just thought this is what I figured. Originating in Denmark and yeah. landing in Connecticut. Well, it's just that batch. You know, they make them different places. Mm. So they might make one at one brewery, one where place, and one at another brewery, another place. All right. Stillwater well, is another gypsy brewer, and I think the guys are brothers. <clears throat> well, let me get this out there. Uh, this is twelve percent. Nice. ABV, so that's probably another reason why I like it. You know, anything yeah. with the word imperial, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty good in there. Um, oh yeah. It tastes real sweet. Yeah. A few times in the history of craft beer, a highly praised beer rises beyond mortal stardom into a higher godly league. Usually the recipe to make such heavenly drops is thick fudge-like body, pitch fudge. black color, fudge. amazingly overwhelmingly aromas of chocolate, coffee, dark fruits, muscovado, muscovado sugar. I was like, what's muscovado? Type of sugar, apparently. Maple syrup, coconut, and obviously only made in limited amounts. People, this is the taste of rare. It does taste kind of rare. It looks rare, too, man. This beer is... Shh, you weren't playing. This thing is dark. I, I went to pour more in. I guess I should say <laughs> some for you for you should. during the songs. This says it's a toned-down, close-quarters version of our IPA. This easy-drinking, hoppy American pale ale is hopped heavily with citrus and amarillo hops. Oh, amarillo. For an extra citrusy taste. Deliberately drinkable. Yeah, I don't know. Just don't know about session beers. Session beers, or you just don't know about champion beers? Well, that too, but I'm just session beers. Let's get off on a tangent. It just gets on my nerve. Yeah, because they're so, it's, like, it's just it's just saying low APV. Basically, a session is the exact opposite of an imperial beer. Right. Like, we're drinking opposites right correct, now. Correct, correct. My beer is three times as potent as yours. It is. Probably three times as tasty, too. <laughs> just about. At the end. <laughs> just about, man, if I had to guess. But it's like if somebody said you want some uh, some session coffee. You know, we took out three quarters of the, <laughs> the caffeine. caffeine. I'm like, no, no, thank you. I don't want any. Oh, uh, okay. You know, how about some session milk? It's mostly water. Skim milk. That's yeah, what it yeah, is. Skim milk. Session, session, session milk. Session right. milk. <laughs> so I'm just not, you know, as a, as a craft beer aficionado, I don't get the whole session beer thing. Well, you've uh, you've adopted it as, you know, you're yeah, coming up with your hug session. session. But that's the sarcastic response to it. Yeah, that's true. You know, I to be a hook session, you have to have at least 7%, 7%. alcohol. And for a hu- birthday session, I think we decided 10%. 10 for sure. Yeah. Easy. It probably should be 14. <laughs> can't find a lot of beers in that range. Yeah. Well, while, while, while we're talking about it, let's go ahead and untap these bad boys. We like to sure. use the Untapped app because, well, it's free, at least for me. And that's a pretty handy little tool. You know, you can uh, check in beers wherever you're at, drinking with friends. You can rate them, give them a certain uh, uh, comment so that you can remember if you liked it or whatnot. Yeah. Huck's Beer Buzz. Pardon me is his handle. Drez drinks is mine. You can friend us on there and see what we think of our beers. What are you thinking of the uh, the little uh, champion session you poured well, over there? Well, you did kind of touch on it, but I actually pay for my untap, so I get some more statistics and some bonus, you know, benefits. <clears throat> so there, there you go. But um, let's see. Mm, it's very light, clear, sessiony, sessiony. I'm not really watery. Getting, I'm not really getting the hop thing. They're talking about. That's right. It's yeah. supposed to be an IP, uh, IPA, right? Yeah, pale ale. Oh, and, okay. you know, you're yeah. right. IPA. Yeah, I thought you said it was an IPA. Yeah, I'd say this is like, uh, yeah, not. Nah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, champion striking out. <laughs> Poor go. guys. Three twenty-five. Really? Yeah. See, uh, that's yeah, that's not great for coming from Huck. My expectations were not met. That's the melee from Champion. Yeah, the melee was kind of laid down, laid back, uh, melee laid back. But you know, maybe if you're a, if you're a, a day drinker or somebody that r- is looking for a session, maybe they because what is it? You know, four, I'm did a you day. say four percent, four point three or something? Uh, what even, did it say? I think I, I saw it on the can. It was four point three. I am maybe. a day drinker. You know, just about every day I drink. Yeah, but you can do the Huck session thing. Most yeah. people can't. I don't see it. I thought I saw it four point three. Maybe I'm just imagining it. That's probably right. Okay. Well. Yes, uh, four point two. Oh, you four point two. I gave him, it. Gave him too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> Still more alcohol than a uh, whatever. Yeah. All right. Well, a, coming in at a solid twelve APV, like I mentioned, Evil Twins Brewing, Evil Twin Brewing's even more Cocoa Jesus is not a bad stout. I might say I, I was a little hesitant because, you know, like I said about with the Sweet Baby Jesus, buying a six pack of that. 
you know, just because everybody, a lot of people love that beer, but I was not that impressed. And and then I had five other ones to deal with. I was just giving them away. But um, I think I like this a little bit more. It's probably a little bit more potent. It's got the different flavors. It's obviously no peanut butter in this one, but that maple syrup and that mm. coconut. I'm a fan of both of those. Mm-hmm. Uh, put mm-hmm. them together, and uh, man, we're we're cooking here. I can man. see a high score. Coming. Of course, it's an imperial stout's not usually my flavor, but man, this is tasting pretty good right now. Like I said, it also might be the fact that I really, really needed a beer today. Yeah. Uh, so that might be a, a little bit of a factor as well. But hey, that's just helping Evil Twin out. One more final sip before I give my my judgment officially. People say we don't drink enough stouts, and so here we go. I think we have one for the second session, too. Yeah, and, and we had a stout last week, too. I think we Probably did. the week before. I feel yeah. like it's almost become a staple now. We do, like, at least one and stout a show. imperial stouts. But. Yeah, well, that's the only good one. That's the only, good, that's the only way to make it tolerable. This is this is an easy 4.5. There you go. Easy 4.5. Easy 4.5. That means a stout lover would give it a 5.5. Yeah, probably. Probably. Well, there you go. Uh, that's our first round. In the bank, I'm going to try his session. He's going to try my uh, Coco Jesus oh, yeah. while we play this song. And then we're going for round two on Bruce Day Tuesday right after this. Stick around. <laughs> 